Welcome to the Spend Wise Moms channel. Today we are demonstrating how to make the best scotcheroos ever. If you take these to a party or potluck, people are going to think you're the best cook in the world. They will probably even ask you for the recipe. You can tell them that it's a family secret so they don't know how easy they are to make. You can also use these as a reward for your kids to get them to eat their vegetables or make them for a guy you're interested in to get him to ask you out. Or stash them in the back of your freezer when you need some comfort food instead of eating Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Let's get started. Get out a 9 by 13 inch pan and either butter it well or place parchment paper in it. I like the parchment paper because I can just lift them out to cut them later. But it is cheaper just to grease the pan with butter. Measure six cups of Rice Krispies into a large bowl and set it aside. It is helpful to be prepared by having these measured ahead of time. Trust me on this one. Next, put one cup of white sugar and one cup of light carol corn syrup into a two-quart saucepan or something that is a similar size. It is easier if you measure the sugar first so the cup won't be sticky. Now, Wash your one cup and measure out a cup of peanut butter and set it aside. You won't use the peanut butter right away, but it is nice to have it ready for you as soon as you need it. I'm speaking from experience. Turn the stove onto a medium heat. Stir the sugar and corn syrup until the sugar dissolves and it just barely comes to a boil. This is honestly the trickiest part of the whole recipe. If you don't cook it enough, it won't stay together well. If you cook it too much, it will be hard as a rock and will break your teeth and no one will want to eat them. Add the peanut butter as soon as you see it start to boil. Mix it well and then pour it over the Rice Krispies in the large bowl. Mix them well. Put the Rice Krispie mixture into your 9 by 13 inch pan. I butter the back side of the spoon and use it to even it out on top. Don't worry if it's not perfect because the topping will cover any of your mistakes. Melt your chocolate chips and butterscotch chips together in a small saucepan. Put the burner on low and you will need to stir constantly. As soon as they melt, you spread the melted chips on top of your Rice Krispie mixture in the pan. Let the chocolate on top cool until it is firm. Cut them and enjoy. I must confess that I usually cut a corner off before they are firm because it's hard to wait. Sometimes I even put them in the fridge for 30 minutes to hurry it up. That's it. Thanks for watching the Spendwise Moms channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.